5,220 pounds of Bullet Super Light 272 BHS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the uh, Keystone sister to the 2810 Bunkhouse Passport we would carry here, so we know our way around this thing pretty well. They each do little touches the others uh, don't, but generally speaking, they're pretty darn close to the same thing. You could say 97% the same. Overall, it looks to be exceptionally clean and well kept. However, I believe I have identified a, uh, a little hiccup with it that the even the previous owners were not aware of, and thankfully we're able to get to it and address it before it gets too far along. What I'm referring to is a little leak near the front termination strip where the roof meets the front fiberglass. So rather than talk about it, I'll show you what I'm referring to because we don't hide things at Halo RV so you can buy with confidence from our team and our dealership. So what I'm referring to here is in the campsite uh, front bedroom closet. There's a spot here, it's about six inches in um, total diameter that you can touch. It's obviously had a little water penetration. It, again, it does look like it was from a front termination strip. It just needs a quick touch up. We're gonna get that taken care of. Um, I'm gonna guess it was from towing stress and not from lack of care and maintenance because this RV has been stored under a cover and the previous owners did certainly not seem to be uh, aware of this. So. Kind of came as a surprise to everyone. It's unfortunate. It's here. But you deserve to know about it, and we're not going to hide it. So if you're still with us, that means that for the right money, you'd be interested. And let's see if it's the right camper, and then we can figure out what the right money is. Uh, slide is closed currently, and I wanted to do that to demonstrate that even with this giant kitchen right here, you can still easily get right through her get to the bathroom, get to the bedroom, get to the everything, and uh, see, you know, fully access this one in transit. There's not a single compartment to which you're going to lose access with the slide closed. And again, overall, it, it is clean, it is sharp, it looks, uh, it's been well kept inside and out, again, stored under a cover, so the skin's not baked, the decals look good. Overall, this thing is pretty darn sharp. Um, the uh, furniture's not all wore down, um, and the folks were very happy with this, actually. They were so happy they stayed within the Keystone family and simply moved up to a Cougar 29 BHS here at Haylet RV. They just wanted a, a, a slightly different revised layout. This was their first RV. They wanted something with a little more space, a little more uh, storage, a bigger bedroom. Um, the next step up, basically. When they bought this one, and this is a fine camper, they certainly didn't do bad. Um, they just didn't know what they didn't know, and once they found out how they like to camp, they wanted to swap around, and they came uh, to us from West Virginia. That's where this one actually hails from. Now, um, your Bullet Series here, they will, uh, versus the like the similar Passport 2810, it'll have a little smaller window around the sofa, but storage above the sofa, the Passport will lack, and an additional um, slide side breeze window over there. Now, speaking of windows, look around those bunks. I love what they've done with these bunks, by the way. So it starts with the open air ladder wall right here, and you've got four windows or total here, two for each bunk and they all open for airflow. And both upper and lower bunks have these neat little side pockets for little kid stuff and you see the power outlets uh, for uh, all their chargers and, and all that good stuff. The extra light there, uh, the skylight rather, is also a uh, vent. So if you are cooking up a storm, it's a great way to exhaust extra heat from the RV. Now one of the uh, really easily missed and overlooked differences between a bullet and a passport from this generation is that a bullet has a shorter camp queen but it has a longer countertop to compensate they're the same length but the bullet has an extra cabinet countertop and additional overhead cabinet that the passport will lack at the expense of a shorter bedroom so that's kind of where the two are similar but not identical to one another what they do both share however is this big peninsula countertop right here with all sorts of uh prep space and then uh you've got a fitted sink cover over this just epic farm sink that you could give a baby a bath in if you were so inclined and anytime i see original owner's manuals that's a really good confidence inspiring thing for me to know that this is something that's probably been pretty darn well kept um moving back here to the bathroom as we've already seen you can get through uh here when the slides closed you can see this thing uh fully functional in transit and you do have a deadbolt locked for that door so you're not gonna have to worry about you know somebody peeking at you while you're doing your business now right next to that we have a big old cabinet 
Now if you take note, you can see that there's actually two hanging rods in here, uh, but there's shelves obviously right below it on the left side. So we've got dedicated closet and then removable shelves for a bonus closet if you need it. Or you could just remove one or two of the shelves, if not all of them, uh, to kind of create you know, the sort of situation you want, whether, so you can kind of balance out your pantry space against your, um, you know, hanging space. Very nice for the kids or for extended stays. Now remember, on the right side, you see that uh, cabinet with the double shelves right there and that extra chunk of countertop. That is one of those things the Bullet does well here, giving you a little bit more space in the kitchen. And there is nothing wasted below the countertop here. You can get to every ounce of storage below it. Um, additional capacity uh, or cabinet rather up top here and we've got uh, storage even within the entertainment center and you see this as a uh, you know a set of bedroom sliding doors not um, curtains as it were so you can get a little bit more privacy going on this one which is very nice on an open bunk design couple things I want to zero in on on their dinette over here. First, that it actually has doors to get to the storage under the bench to make life simple and easy. And then they've done something here that is classic and effective. And people often look at that and they misunderstand. They say, well, that's obviously done to be inexpensive. That just happens to be inexpensive. The fact is, the way that they have this table set up, it's basically a no knee knocker. So bigger, taller guys like me with these gangly long legs, you're not inclined to, you know sit in there and smack your knee against something when you're just trying to enjoy a family meal. Now if the kids bring friends or everybody kind of needs their own little spot to uh, uh, bunk down, what is neat is both the dinette and the sofa open up for bonus sleepers. But one thing I rarely demonstrate is the little chunk of storage that exists within these hide-to-bed sofas right here. What's kind of cool about it is you can keep the bedding materials that you're probably going to want to use for this when it's in the sleeping position tucked away so it's sort of it's kind of self-contained in that regard it really takes care of itself now from there if you take note the tv actually swings out for easy viewing so it's not like you have a big 90 degree neck crank on this floor plan and a single articulating swing arm mount for that tv is all it takes to alleviate a lot of trouble this is uh bluetooth this is dvd by the way um, so if you want to sync your phone to it and stream some music, you're good to go. Now over here, they've got a little laundry chute built right into this side stand, which is cool. But if you notice, the side stand goes all the way up to the head area. So if you are trying to like keep a, a phone or a CPAP machine tucked next to you, you're going to be good to go there. Now uh, looking around, that little spot that I uh, mentioned on the other side of the camper, none of that appears to be the case over here. This is still solid, so it's small, it's localized, it's something that we've caught early, it's something we can take care of for you. Bummer it's there, but at the end of the day, probably not a major deal for most folks. And if it is for you, again, remember, we shot you straight, guys. You can buy with confidence from Halet RV. So take a look at something else we have, and maybe we've got another one for you that you'll feel a little bit better about. And again, if we see something, we say something. So just a quick recap, the RV has been stored under a cover when not in use, and the skin and decals really show that. Uh, we do have an easy tilt power awning here with LED lighting, so two fingers is all it takes to kind of crank that sucker down, and a large front storage compartment that gives you a very easy look at the all-aluminum skeleton. Now, one thing I'll show you down here, I did have this set up on the bumper, but while I was inside, someone was kind enough to put it away, must have thought that we left it out is the original bumper mount RVQ grill with this camper is still here. And it looks like maybe it was used once. It certainly has not been put through the ringer. Power tongue jack does the heavy lifting for you, makes the on and off easy. Now, I see on the tongue of this that there are uh, the equalizer brackets for the customer's weight distribution kit. I do not believe those are staying on this camper. Um, at the time of this filming, we don't yet own this RV. By the time that you view this footage, we will own the RV. Um, I'm simply a very proactive person. I jumped on this as soon as I saw it come out here. So I believe the hitching stuff is going with them onto their Cougar, their next camper. And pardon my little phone ring in there. Um, this has a lighter but stronger uh, Norco chassis. It's something that uh, I've always noticed brands that tend to be built on this chassis seem to generally have pretty good service records. And we do have a heated and closed underbelly. This has a 30,000 BTU furnace uh, to give you that extra extended spring and fall camping. Um, you can see that all the windows are ventilating and uh, UV tinted. So it'll help keep the heat down in the RV and the privacy up. If you take a look below the slide there, Wide stance axles uh, makes this thing just excellent 
for half tons and larger tow package SUVs that normally may struggle with the length of this camper, but the wide stance axles are gonna do a good job of cutting that wheelbase. Um, uh, you've got a uh, black tank flush and outside utility shower on this. And a neat little detail is that your baggage doors are all sealed hinges. So that, uh, you know, if, if it does get some water on it and then freeze or anything like that, it, it just prevents the water from getting in there and, and springing the hinge and causing any kind of damage. Now that rear door there will go straight to the uh, bathroom and does have a deadbolt for privacy. Once again, I always like to stress that because so many people get really worked up when they're afraid there's going to be a person walking in on them. And here's a better look at the wide stance axles. And I do want to take a peek at the tires. That's the one thing I haven't done yet. So we're going to do that together. First thing I like to do is look at the tread. And the tread looks good. I don't see any weird irregular wear patterns. Uh, tires all appear to match. All appear to be the original factory tires and no bad weathering or anything like that. So, passes the tire test. That is good news ladies and gentlemen so 5200 20 pounds one owner has a little hiccup we're getting it taken care of you could do worse i think if if you're looking for your first camper this is you know late model somebody shook it down for you and you don't have to pay that new rv depreciation stuff and that's a good deal right there or perhaps you're trying to get into a, a laminated model or get something with a slide whatever the case may be this is a solid option so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.